With over 300 ethnic groups and more than 500 languages, Nigeria is undoubtedly a rich cultural tapestry. Different art forms reflect this cultural diversity. Without question, the Yoruba culture is one state in unique traditions. This is a matter of an identity. This comes from Yoruba land, basically. In fact, there are times that I espouse in other cultures too, in Africa, but since I'm from Agokuta, and this is about, say something about me. Adira simply means tie and die. In the actual word, it means add, are, add, are. When you now join the two together, it's adire. Ashota Tare to ba mo aburu e wa ta bo mo do abi yawo a sise yen ise yen o bo si ta yi bu ba yen There is a place in southwest Nigeria, Abeokuta, a name significant for its rocky terrain. The city gates welcome you to Egba land, the home of Adire. Adire textile production is a tradition for the Egba people, an art form passed on from generation to generation. The craft is mostly a family heritage. The Jojolola clan of Kenta were the first to make Adure in Abeokuta. The matriarch of the clan, Chief Minya Jojolola Shuetong, was an actful Adure maker. She was so influential in the community that she was crowned the second Ijalode, head of women of Egba land. Over the years, creating Hadure designs evolved through simple techniques including tie hand dye, folding, crumpling, and sprinkling. The splashing of hot wax onto her clothes as a resist agent also replaced the traditional cassava paste. This process takes about three days to design a yard and about two weeks for five years of Hadure. Tenacity and dexterity, the intricate patterns, comes alive with vibrant colors. The holder fabric type of Vadere or Thai hand dye is prized for its beauty and cultural expression. The scent of the fabric evokes sweet memories of simpler times. You really know the history that I knew was that when I was young, the, my cover cloth, actual bora, Timafin bora. My mother ties the, the cloth herself, and I can hear as she uses the, uh, the native echo and uh, maybe some stones to, you know, to make the, to create the patterns. I could hardly wait. And after that, she goes to dye it, and then suddenly you know, say, "Kalani, uh, actual bora, Today I can smell the dye because this is mine. This is 
especially for me. You know, it wasn't bought on the market. My mother made this. is also a unique symbol of the links between African countries. Across sub-Saharan Africa, one can find different expressions of Adure. You go to some other, other African countries like Mali, Ghana, other places, you see some traits of Yoruba people there too. That's why we don't speak the same language. So in the process where the trade have established here, in the process of trading alongside the Yoruba, I mean the African coast, we realize that there are some other tribes also in Africa that does what we actually into, but they don't call it Adire because they are they have their own language for for simplicity, so that we can understand ourselves. They call it Kampala, so we call it Adire, being our own language. You go to some other country, even Indonesia, they have the name, they call it. You understand? So when we start having this trade um, um, cross-bordering between us and them, so, so that they can identify what we are selling as the same thing as what they are into also, we start calling it Kampala. So it now turns to Adire Kampala. It's not Adire and, no, it's Adire slash Kampala. So it's either Adre or Kampala is the For Mr. Kilani, Adre is not only a piece of clothes, it is also a symbol of his true African identity, connecting him to his motherland. I wear it because it is mine. You know, and I'm proud of it. Anytime that I travel, for instance, I, anywhere I go in the world, I have the Yoruba Bilia cap on my head. You know, and everybody, when you see people, you can at a glance guess where they are likely to be from. And sometimes people come to me, they just say, you must be from West Africa. And I say, that's close enough because that's home. Or um, some other time, they might, you know, when they come to meet me, send someone to meet me at the airport and say, uh, TK, how can we, no, no, don't worry about it. I'm the one, only one that will put on this type of cap on my head. You know, so I think it's a matter of, you know, identity. Madam Sadia Takamo is the head of market women in Itoku, the Yaloja. She is worried that artisans are no longer focused on the traditional methods. Instead, the younger generation wants to make quick profit. We don't want to Eh? 
With modern techniques, the family ties of Adire artisans have been diluted. Mr. Obunfidodo Michael is one of the few remaining men who inherited knowledge of the craft from his grandmother. From my late, late granny, to my granny, to my mother, and on to me. You understand? In most cases, it's like that, but not anymore. Because we now have different people coming over to learn. Even people who are, not, who are not even related to us, they come over that, yes, I want to learn this, they have interest. Okay, fine. If you want to, no problem. Even nowadays, we have people that said, okay, fine, I'm, I'm in US, I'm in Canada, I'm in, I'm in Ghana, I'm in certain places, I can't come over. Can you do just a simple online training for me? I'm like, okay, fine, no problem. Then we do online training for them. So it's, it's no more like that anymore. So it's a general thing now. For anybody that has an interest in them. Adire Mall is the biggest ultra modern market in Nigeria. Some residents call it Kensai Toku Market. Adire is not just a textile, it represents the rich culture of Yoruba heritage. The heart, which started as a small family business, has now blossomed into an industry which serves millions of people. <laughs> I'm <laughs> I moye awon mo lewe ti won ti tara wa dide ton ti tara wa sori re awon elomi obi won tabi baba won abi ya won a wa sise kan mo won le rowo je won ni nigba to kon e ba bale o na ma bere si ni ta awon mo ma ma se figo adire pe oja Oja mi ji nsin sin o le ni 700 so far so good that as that is empowering young graduate this adre this industry this indigenous textile because it's, it's as i said is a is a university of its own they have different faculty you can imagine the population of people that you have in a university so it's a very big industry that is quite diversified that even if you are not lazy, you will make your home. You, we have a lot of young graduates in this market now. Unlike in those days where everybody is old, 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 very few young of us. But now we have a lot of young graduates who are in this industry now. And I can, I can, I will still encourage. If stop saying there is no job in country in this country, there's a lot of job. You just have to be creative. Not everybody will be wearing, will be looking, we have to get government job. Not everybody will get federal government appointment. Not everybody will get banking job. No. We are talking about self-employed. This is one of the areas to be self-employed. Come to industry, uh, the industry. You, you'll be surprised. You'll be amazed what you, what you will achieve within a very short time. But the only thing you need is just to be creative. If you are creative, you will achieve it. So it's an industry that I know that can help at least 50% of Nigerian youth because there is nothing that we can produce presently that will satisfy the need of the people we have in this country. Not to take us of West Africa or Africa as a whole.
For instance, most of my um, clients, we've never even seen each other before. Let me say 90% of my clients. You know, I hardly have working customers. Most of my clients are online, you know, we do send, you know, we're using logistics, we use GIG, DHL. We send to Canada, UK, even within Nigeria, we send to the north. So, and it's actually based on trust. And you know, these days, um, you don't have to travel down before you can get what you need. Just send your um, customers pictures and they are getting what, um, what they need. So the um, technology has actually helped a lot. So you, you know, sending goods to customers. And when, the moment they get what they actually requested for, it will actually prompt them to do that more. I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. So, but if you don't deliver what they requested for, that person will actually be pissed off. Like, oh no. So, it's, it's actually work hand in hand. The technology and you providing the service the customer needs. Tude Kilani believes that the artifact of Yoruba culture must be appreciated. But the true spirit can only be carried on for generations in the hearts and souls of its people. To advise the Yoruba past, what I just do is in my own small space, and some people might follow, might be inspired, but by the way I'm using it, I'm not going to say Yoruba should throw away all other dresses and so on. I think they should just be more conscious and supportive of their own so that I can bring development, economic development, freedom and prosperity to the people where God has blessed us with these things. The Haitian handcraft of Adure has survived through ages, but is now at risk. An inferior machine print, which produces multiple designs and meanings, is threatening the heart. For artisans, this is bad news. The only problem that we have is about the materials that we are using. There's no materials. They are not producing any materials in Nigeria. Around that, around 84, 85, they are producing materials in Nigeria, like Arewa textile, Cardinal textile, then uh, Ado textile. We are using the materials that they made in Nigeria. But now all the companies are full up. They are all they are import the materials to Nigeria. So that's the problem the challenge we have. Then before we are using 100 percent cutting. The one they are made in Nigeria, they are used, they are made in it 100 percent cutting. But now we see 60%, we see 40%. You see, fifty percent. That it is. If you are not mature in this product, I don't know the, exactly what the material that you can use to do the the, the Kampala. He expect the government to reopen the company. We are begging them since to make sure that they produce these materials in, in Nigeria, like I don't know, Tesla, Gaska Tesla in Kano. They are still produced in Ankara. Why can't they produce the material that we are using before? We are using Gaska Tesla. Beautiful, very good materials. We are begging the government to reopen that complaint, to let them do the, 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 the materials that we want. The state government and traditional rulers support the Adire industry as a way to preserve Yoruba cultural heritage. In order to elevate the status of Adire fabric and make it a global brand, it is important that we also provide a present global platform for marketing and distribution. A very bold attempt to marry culture with technology. On the one hand, we are preserving the culture of our people. At the same time, we are adding value and we are using technology to bring it to the entire world. That's what we are coming here to do today. The government encourages the use of Adire in state functions. Dignitaries 
her often fashionably styled in colorful adire fabric. Whether created by old processes or innovative methods, Adure continues to survive fashion trends. On a cultural level, Adure appeals very much to the fashion conscious in Yoruba land, Nigeria, and the whole world at large. The modern production techniques may be cheaper and faster to produce, but the handcraft of Igbe women, the love, warmth, affection that goes into each knot tied, the sheen and softness of fabric can never be replaced by modern processes. Adure remains a symbol of Yoruba heritage, traditions, and festivity. <laughs> Oh, you